As I look back at the games I played as a child, I noticed that they were a way to connect to classic arcade titles I wouldn't have been able to play otherwise. It was only some time later that I realized that some of my Mac games were just clones of some of the classics. Do I feel like I was being gypped? No, because I think I've gained an appreciation for both classics and clones because while Space Invaders is fun in arcades, I didn't have an arcade to go to, and it didn't see a computer release until years later. Invaders 1.2 was my Space Invaders game. It was a game I played over and over as a child, and while I don't open it up as often as other Mac games, I remember that I had fun with it. Invaders 1.2 was released in 1994 by Simone Bettini, but in version 1.1 it was just called Space Invaders. According to the version of history shared on Macintosh Garden, the name was changed to respect Atari's copyright. Which, when making a clone of an established game, it is probably the smart choice. And that's what the Invaders is. You are the Defender, the last of Earth's defenses against an enemy that slowly descends, pacing back and forth until there or your annihilation. While the stakes are the same, a few things are different from Space Invaders. For one, enemies start off slow and few in the first levels, and then start to speed up and grow in number as you get further. Also, the barriers that used to take a beating in the original now offers little cover and very limited protection, as they tend to get blasted away fairly quickly as the later levels get harder. The consolation is that the motherships that come in randomly not only give you points when you hit them, but also optional special weapons. The money sign on a coin is your regular gun. The F is a slow firing flame that takes out rows of enemies. The L is a fast firing laser that can take out multiple enemies when they touch it. And the S is a shield that shoots a barrier that can protect your ship, but isn't very fast or powerful. While these special weapons can give you an advantage, allowing you to go through several waves easily, you can lose them if you die or accidentally touch an unwanted power-up. Now regarding why there are so many scores on my scoreboard that end on the 21st level, it's because the game speeds up quickly, and if you die, you are probably screwed. Without a power-up and a swarm of aliens quickly descending, you will die over and over again because if the aliens hit the bottom, there's nothing you can do but respawn and die over and over till all your lives are gone, or if luckily your death kills the last one on screen. Adding everything up, it can be said that this game really isn't that fair. Enemies shoot too fast to be able to dodge efficiently, the barriers are pretty useless in the later levels as they get destroyed in seconds, the transition from level to level is rather quick as enemies start shooting before your ship is even back on screen, and the main strategy that I can think of is hit and run to the edge of the screen tactics to try and stay alive. Overall, the presentation is okay. It's certainly an improvement to have a blue night sky with a moon and just a black background. But not having music kind of sucks, as Space Invaders had a track that sped up as you killed more and more aliens. Otherwise, the sound effects that are used are fine. Invaders slightly changes itself from the Space Invaders formula, but it's still pretty standard. I think nostalgia is what gets me to come back and play this, but I think I'd rather play Aperion, Space Junkies, Swoop, or a multitude of other shoot 'em ups made around this time. The difficulty is pretty cheap, but it plays alright. Just remember, it won't blow your mind. Invaders can be downloaded on Macintosh Garden. A link will be in the description. Invaders was emulated using Basilisk for Windows. Click the links in the description if you are interested in the game shown or using a pre OSX emulator for Mac or PC. And feel free to message me if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Any comments, likes, or dislikes on this video or any of my other videos would be appreciated. My reviews for classic Macintosh games Aperion and Space Junkie can be checked out by clicking the annotations on this video. If you want to get in contact with me, message me on YouTube or Twitter.